Hello, and today we are going to upgrade a Unify 4.8 to a 5.0.6, which is the latest general release. And if you watch my other Unify videos, you know I like to do this manually. So we're going to go out and download the software, and then we're going to install it. So log into your Ubuntu server. Uh, usually through SSH. And we're going to wget the software from Ubiquity. You go to the Ubiquity downloads, you go to Unify, and then Get the download link for the 5.0.6 controller for Debian slash Ubuntu. In the Linux server, you do a wget, paste the URL in, it downloads the software. You can see the files there, so now we're going to do a dpackage hyphen i, which is install and then the unify package name also before you do this remember to make a backup of your existing controller in case things go south you could either manually copy the data folder on the Linux server or you could run a backup through the GUI Make sure you've got that backup. Very important. So after you do that, make sure you run the dpackage hyphen i and run that against the Unify Debian package. It's going to stop the Unify controller, upgrade it, and then restart the Unify controller. If you've got a CA cert, it's going to keep that. It's going to keep all of your information, all of your admins, all of your devices, all of your configuration should stay the same. Once you've done this, you're, you're, you're done. So, but we're going to take a look around here for a second. A version 5 controller is really a fantastic piece of software. Ubiquity has outdone themselves on the interface. So you can log in after you've done the upgrade and you're going to see that this interface is really nice and shiny. You can see in my site my access point hasn't come back on online yet, is disconnected, but in just a second it'll show up. Oh, this new sites overview. This is really slick. Every site you have access to, you can get a snapshot of what's going on there. New preferences for color, time, date, format. Ah, there we are. And looks like there's some new firmware. And there's the clients, the statistics. I mean, they, they've really done a good job on the interface here. Events. You know, you get the same, same events. I mean, I really like the look of this. The settings, they've added some new, new settings. Oh, there's that port remapping that everybody's talking about for using that voice over IP port as just a regular... Uh, WAN port. Go back to the dashboard. Back to our devices. We're going to upgrade this access point. Ah, now we're provisioning. By the way, if you like the video, please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like the videos that we're cranking out and we'll keep doing it. Access point still provisioning. This takes just a few seconds. 
I am impatient, which is why I keep clicking the refresh button. And now we're connected. If you click on the access point, you can see it's got this really nice overview, a little bit of information. We can see the uplink information, the 802.11 NBG info, the A info, the users, the connection strength, their transmit rate, the guests, which are none right now, the configuration, here's our radios, and oh, oops, look at that. I, uh, I have the channel set to auto on that 5G radio. I'm going to have to change that. There's our WLANs. Uh, this thing gets an uh, IP via DHCP. There's band steering, airtime fairness, custom upgrade, and forget the device. You can restart it. You can locate it. So once again, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, and we will see you at the next video.